Kidney failure patients might have to go in for dialysis for several hours, several times a week, but a new invention being developed right here at Seattle University hopes to change that. So many people in the States, there's more than 600,000 people. Dr. Shen Ren is an assistant professor of mechanical like engineering at Seattle University. He transfer thermodynamic fluid mechanics, that's my thing. But his current project has to do with one of the body's most vital organs. This is an artificial kidney. It may not look anything like a kidney, but Ren envisions it to act like one. And what if you have a portable artificial kidney, you have a portable dialysis system? That means you can do the dialysis anywhere you go. Ren is collaborating with UW Center for Dialysis Innovation and the Northwest Kidney Centers to develop an artificial kidney. We are imagining the final product is about in the backpack size. He has worked with the CDI since 2017 to redesign a typical dialysis machine operated in a clinic into one that a patient can carry with them, affording them the convenience and quality of life of someone with a healthy kidney. This could potentially change the lives of millions and millions and millions of people around the world. Becca Chung has a condition known as Allport syndrome that led to kidney failure when she was in her 20s. It was very burdensome. I was 25 years old. I felt like I had the entire world ahead of me. And as my friends were going out or as I was working kind of as a consultant and structuring my day, I really, really had to play project management uh, around a machine. For this technology, yes, we're the first one. Ren yeah. says with his prototype, patients can eliminate that burden. It's scaled down from a typical dialysis machine. Even the fluid known as dialysate used to filter the blood can be reduced from 100 liters to one. This video shows how the machine is connected to the patient and... This technology is based on photo oxidation technology. That technology removes toxins from the patient's blood, which is circulated through the machine. The prototype is still being optimized, has yet to go on clinical trials, and is not in the medical market right now. But Ren believes it will be a breakthrough. Yes, we are going to be the first one to make this uh, disruptive technology into the market. Chong says it gives hope. No matter what stage of kidney failure you're in, the possibility of having a truly portable device to go with you as you live your day is extremely empowering for any patient. The Center for Dialysis Innovation plans to continue funding Dr. Red's project through the summer. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei.